Hello everyone, I'm your host, Light. A few months ago, I came across a clip from Elder Jeffrey R. Holland on YouTube, interestingly titled, Does God Care About What You Want? It's a fantastic video that, in short, shows the love of God in a way that respects our agency, while also honoring His will. I'll leave it to you to watch this on your own time, I highly recommend it if you couldn't tell, but I bring it up because the subject matter was the basis of much of my thoughts for a number of years. I've often wondered what God wanted me to do with my life, not in the sense of an occupation or whether to get married one day. Rather, I wondered what he wanted me to do with the rest of the time I had. I'd heard the adage, every member a missionary, and felt the truth of it. This was in addition to my desire to live the law of consecration, much as the early saints had tried to. So then begged the question, how? Well, the answer came from For the Strength of Youth of All Places. In April of 2021, when we do what the prophets and the Holy Ghost direct us to do to build up God's kingdom and help the needy, we are living the law of consecration. Accordingly, I wanted to do something that was valuable to the Lord, but also a venture I would find joy in myself. I wanted unity between the two of our wills. And so, the journey was on. I tried a number of different ideas, the process spanning about three years. I don't have time to detail them all here, but know that from the beginning, I wanted to incorporate my faith in some way, much as I had seen other members of our church do who were also content creators. With time, my desire to emphasize my faith grew to the point that it became my driving force. Mind, the gospel had always been the foundation of my person. It was never a question of whether I would implement it, but rather a question of how. I wanted an opportunity to share the gospel in my own way. I just wasn't sure what form that would take. Throughout all this, I was wondering constantly on that thought I spoke of earlier. Does God care about what I want? Would he support me in my endeavors, whatever those looked like? Well, across three years of countless experiences, blessings, miracles, and witnesses, I can assure you he does care. As time went on, I realized he had proved himself, despite never needing to. He had shown his hand to me numerous times, both subtly and more directly. With time, I began to ask less and less the question of whether he cared what I wanted, and increasingly began to wonder if I cared what he wanted. Was I willing to trust in him completely, saying as Christ did, not my will, but thine be done? That line of thinking is what eventually spawned this podcast. I had had a shift in perspective. It was time to stop trying to align his will with mine, and instead align my will with his. And so we're here today with a great channel in the works. I'm fully confident with time I can accomplish something great for his sake, no matter the time or effort it may take. However, for you, I want to give a statement of what you can expect. A mission statement, if you will. You know now why I started the podcast, but what does the future hold? Well, first, my desire is foremost in all things to study and teach the gospel. I desire to create content that would uplift, inspire, and edify, especially in a world that does so much of the opposite. I hope that what I do can change someone's life for the better, even if it's only one person. This goal will take the form of messages every week, one longer message one week, followed by a shorter one the next week. I may tell little stories or draw parallels to experiences I have, but all things will be in service of the great priority, that being the gospel. Indeed, the reason I formed this podcast surrounding the gospel is because, as I put from time to time, it's the only thing I can talk about for hours on end. I don't know exactly what I'll cover each week, save only that it will be something providing spiritual inspiration. What I do know is that I will prayerfully seek and ponder to know what I can talk about, such that I may help someone in need. Of that, you can rest assured. Now, originally, I had thought to try to expand the brand a bit, and several ideas came to mind. As an example, I'm a decent comedian, believe it or not, and I've got plenty of funny stories to tell. However, I ultimately realized that the reason people would be coming here is for spiritual thoughts, and doing things aside from that would only create a mixed tone. 
This isn't to say I can't incorporate comedy into my messages. Certain general conference talks and the likes of John, by the way, have proven that. But it won't be a focus. That will always be on the spiritual. Additionally, and I make this clear every episode, but I want to make it especially clear now for those who don't listen to the end. I am not a spokesperson for the church. I am a faithful member of the church who seeks to have the spirit with them at all times, including when writing these episodes. However, what I speak is my own opinion, and the same goes for anyone else who may come on my show. Our viewpoints are our own, and we stand by the general authorities in whatever they say, even if it may contradict our opinions. If they do say something which conflicts with us, their authority supersedes our own. If you are someone who desires to know what we believe from an official source, I refer you to churchofjesuschrist.org or comeuntochrist.org. I would also recommend you read the Book of Mormon, for it is the cornerstone of our faith. I do encourage faithful discussion of these episodes, though I must firmly ask that such discussion be free of contention. Disagreements may arise, but there are ways we can differ in opinion while still bringing out the best in each other. In other words, act as Christ would. It's here I will leave you for now. God bless, and have a wonderful evening.